Hello there. Um, with our newfound success in making our signal signals work with our Arduino, I wondered if there's anything else that I can do on my layout which uh, I can use the Arduino for. And it occurred to me what what might be quite fun is if I get some some work in traffic lights. Um, I haven't got much of a road road layout on my um, my layout, but this this junction here. I think will work quite well and probably what I'll do is I'll just put one traffic light there and one for this direction and one for here for this direction. Um, I'll obviously need to sort the layout of the uh, of the lining on the road. Um, ideally you'd want one traffic light coming from this direction as well but as it's only a track and we'll never be able to see it I, I wasn't that fussed to worry about it. So I've got in my mind a little project where I'm going to put, make um, a little junction here with traffic lights with two traffic lights um, and what my plan is, is that I will use the Arduino to, to create a, a automatic light changing function. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll go up, go back to my little study and I'll have a little think about how we can do that. So here in the UK, the uh, traffic light sequence is um, green, amber and red. Uh, and then red and amber together and then back to green which seems pretty straightforward and, and not too difficult it becomes slightly more complicated when we think about how two traffic lights would interact with each, with each other um, so if we if we think of this this sequence as normal and then we add a second light which, which is um, protecting the other junction at a, uh, a junction when this uh, when traffic light number one is 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 green obviously traffic light number two needs to be red when that traffic light number one goes to amber traffic light two is still red uh, and when traffic light one is red traffic light two stays red and the reason being there's a short delay where every single every traffic light signal is at red just i guess for a safety measure uh, so traffic light one is now at red traffic light two now goes to red and amber stays red Traffic light two goes to green, traffic light one stays red. Traffic light two goes to amber, traffic light one stays red. So, and then we get to a situation where traffic light two goes red um, and traffic light one is still red and there's this little delay while traffic light one goes through its sequence. Um, so traffic light one back to uh, red and amber and then back to green. So, so, that, so there's two loops happening here. Uh, but what's quite interesting is there's quite a lot of combination of light colours between the two lights, which we will need to build into our little Arduino program. That shouldn't be too difficult, but um, that's a good start. Um, I know there are variances around the world on this, so the way we're going to try and tackle the Arduino sketch, the program, is to make it fairly basic and fairly straightforward. So if you need to make some changes, it, it can be done fairly easy. So let's have a look at that. So this diagram uh, shows how we wire up each traffic light, um, identical to the way that we previously wired up our um, our signals. Um, and that is that you, each of these is an LED and each has a supply pin from the Arduino. Um, we need to protect the LED from the Arduino because the Arduino provides five volts um, and that would be too much for the LEDs to handle, so we have to put a resistor in. Um, the minimum resistor we want is 220 ohms, um, and each the way I wire mine up is that each um, each LED gets its own resistor. Um, and what I've I've just been playing around with that, and I I've, I thought that um, the green and reds were far too bright with 220 ohms, so I've changed the resistors around just to try and balance out the light and get a much lower light level. Bearing in mind that my um, my layout is based in nineteen sort of mid nineteen sixties, uh, I didn't want an intense light from the traffic lights as you would expect from today's sort of LED powered ones. So what I've what I've come up with is for the greens I'm going to use a ten k ohm resistor, for the red I'm going to use a three point three k resistor, and for the yellow lamp I'm quite happy to stick with a two hundred twenty ohm resistor. So that's all good. Um, so for each, so as you could probably guess, as a quick calculation, um, for each of the traffic lights, we need three pins on the Arduino, and the the returns from each of the LEDs can be collected together, and they can go to one of the ground pins on the Arduino. So it's 
nice and easy, nice and easy. Um, just my little sketch, just to remind myself what, what, what I'm doing here, is that I've got a, a simplified road junction here with two traffic lights. Traffic light number one is going to point in this direction, and traffic light two is going to point in that direction. As I said when I was on my layout, I didn't see any point in putting a traffic light here to go in this direction because you'd never be able to see it. So even if I decided to do it, I could just put a dummy one in. Um, in terms of what I'm in planning to use for this, th these are the ones that are, are, I've got off uh, the internet. They were, they were only a five quid for two, which is which is very good to me. Um, seems very good to me. Uh, so basically, what they are is I think they look like um, they look like uh, railway signals. To be honest, and they might be a little bit big, but obviously it, we we were limited by the size of the LEDs. So I'm going to slightly modify these so that they can become traffic lights that match my 1960s era. Um, and they're quite easy to use. You just take your to take your LED and you put the LED in the corresponding hole and solder it all together. So um, I've got two of these, so that so that that fits my layout. And they, it comes supplied with um, an an adequate number of LEDs, and also comes supplied with some some very thin cable as well, because we obviously we need to put this on a post. So the post needs to be able to take uh, four wires, one for each of the colour lamps, and one for the ground as well. So that's all good. Um, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to have a go at plugging in our very first attempt at uh, making up the, the sketch for it, the software for it. So we'll have a look at that now. Right, we're going to write this simple sketch to set up some traffic lights in the Arduino. Um, if you're not familiar with the Arduino and the way it works and the writing of the program, I will basic, very basically go into, into the details of it. But... Um, I don't want to keep repeating myself, so I hope I can give you enough information if, if you're new to it. Um, right, so very top, two, two forward slashes indicate that the text behind that has no function, so it's just purely as a comment. So we can put it whether we like that. And then we come to our first part of the program, which actually does something. Um, and the way I tend to do mine is rather than refer to pins directly, the pin number directly, I, I define a, a, a term which I can use instead. Um, so in this section here, I'm, I've defined six terms for each of the lights into traffic lights. And all I need to do is assign a pin to each one of those. So traffic light one green, I'm going to assign that to pin two on the Arduino. Uh, amber for traffic light number one, I'm going to assign to pin three. Red, I am going to assign to pin four. Green, I am going to assign to pin five. Light two, amber, I'm going to assign to pin six. And finally, the red light for traffic light number two I'm going to assign to pin seven no surprises so all I've done is I've assigned pins two three four five six and seven and I've given them those names so we don't have to keep trying to remember what what pin is which because we can use the name instead right then we need to set up some uh, some user values and the idea of this is is you can change these values to whatever you like to, to suit your particular layout um, and again, I've used an, a name rather than, than a number, which we'll, which we'll use below. Um, green time is the time we want our green light to be on. And for argument's sake, we're going to call that 15 seconds. Um, and you can change that to whatever you like. If you want 10 seconds, you just change that to 10. So we're going to use 15 seconds. Um, the amber light time is the time that the amber light comes on. So if you imagine a, uh, a traffic light goes from green amber to red, it's not on for very long. Let's say two seconds. Um, the red red time, I don't think we need this once we put in it more than one traffic light. So this will become redundant, I think, but for the moment we'll 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 say the red light is on for 15 seconds as well as the green light. Uh, and finally, as it goes through its sequence from red back to green, you will have a red and amber run at the same time. And I'll give that a two second timer as well. OK, so that's that done. Um, so those are completely at your discretion to change those numbers to whatever you like. So coming down now, we've set some values up. We then set the pins up on the Arduino. And for all those um, references we made above, the six we made above, they're all output pins because they will all be LEDs. So there's no inputs at all. 
I've then done a, a very basic lamp test where we just turn on lights in turn for a second. 1000 milliseconds is a second. Um, so that's all fairly straightforward. So that just runs through a little test. And then we actually get to the bit of our program where we want to put the details of the program in it. And it's called the loop. And the reason why it's called a loop is it, it runs the instructions and then goes back to the top and repeats. Um, I've put the first line in already just to uh, save a little bit of time. And all this, all this is telling the Arduino to do is it says it wants to write to a pin. And we've called that pin traffic light one green. And we want to write it as high. In other words, it's on. So we turn in on the green light is basically what that's doing. So light one is on. Um, so that's the first instruction we're going to do. So whenever we turn on the Arduino, the first thing that happen will be that light one green light will come on. Um, now also what we'll do is I'll copy and paste that. I just want to make sure, uh, I think later on we'll probably need this, but what I'll do is I'm just going to make sure that the amber light for, for pin one is off. So in other words, we set that to low. Don't need that. And I'm going to do the same for the red light as well. Red light is off. It's low. We don't need that. Right, so there's our first sequence of lights, as it were. Green light's on, amber light's off, red light's off. Then what happens? Well, we now need to wait for the duration of our uh, green light to be on. And if you remember up at the top here, we said that the green time is 15 seconds. And the reason why we didn't like that is because we don't have to put 15 seconds below. We can use the term green time. Uh, now we're going to we're going to put in a delay here. Uh, so I'm just going to copy this up here. And all the delay does is it waits. Uh, and I t I'm going to tell it to wait for the green time. And if you remember, I said 15 seconds, so it's going to wait for 15 seconds. But the delay doesn't work on seconds, it works on milliseconds. And there are a thousand milliseconds to a second. So if I left that like that, it would only wait for 15 milliseconds. And we want it to wait for 15 seconds, so we need to times that by a thousand. So milliseconds. Multiplied that by 1,000 equals a second. That's just just a comment. Two forward slashes is just a comment. Okay. Now, um, when I first said delay, I don't know if you heard it. There was a small amount of wailing and gnashing of teeth in the background. Um, yeah, delays are not very welcome in in uh, Arduino sketches, and the reason for that is because when a, a delay command is running, in this case here for 15 seconds the Arduino can't do anything at all. It's just sat there twiddling its thumbs, watching the world go by. Um, and if you looked at my previous programs for the signal control, that wouldn't work with that because we needed a signal to detect tr passing trains. We needed override switches to activate. And obviously if the, if the Arduino was just sat around doing nothing, that would not work. Uh, so we couldn't use delays and we had to use uh, an alternative method which involved setting up timers using the internal clock. So it's quite complicated. Um, and the reason why I'm using delays now is firstly, we don't have any inputs. There are no uh, detections or switches that need to be operated. And secondly, Doing away with all that internal clock calculation makes the look of the program much more straightforward and therefore it's much easier for you to make adjustments to suit your own personal circumstances. So in this instance, I'm using the delays um, and that's it really. We're using them. It's going for it. So, OK, so there's our delay. So that's going to sit there for 15 seconds while the green light is on. Then what happens? Well, what happens then is the amber light will come on. So what we'll do is we will copy this. Uh, we will turn the uh, green light to low, turn it off, and we will turn the amber light on to high. So green light's on, green light goes off, amber light comes on. Uh, and the time we want that to come on, we've already said we will call that amber time. 
again, we need to multiply by a thousand to turn milliseconds into seconds. Um, then what happens? So our amber light's on, and then we have obviously the red light come on. So let's copy that again. So the amber light goes off, and the red light comes on. Again, the delay is the red time, as we set up above. Uh, and then what happens? And then what happens is after red, we have our red and amber sequence. So let's copy this again. Um, the red light's already on, so we don't need to turn it on again. But what we do need to do is turn on the amber light. So turn on the amber light. The red light's already on, so we don't need that. So now we've got the red and amber lights on, and the delay time, what did we call that? We called it um, red amber time, set for two seconds. So come back down here, red amber time. So red and amber lights on for two seconds, and then what happens? Well, we don't need to do anything else, that's it, it's done. Because what will happen then is this program will go back to the top, uh, it will turn on the green light, and it will turn off the amber light and the red light so that's it it's all we've done um so let's just check make sure we haven't made any mistakes here let's just run a, a verification okay that's all done um if i if i've made a mistake here let's say for argument's sake i'd, I'd mistyped in red timer and let's verify that okay and it says something's gone wrong here um the red tim was not declared in this scope. In other words, it hasn't hasn't been defined up here because there is no red tim. It's red time. So it's just a way of just checking to make sure we've typed everything right. So let's change that to red time. Check that again. Make sure it's working. Okay, that's all good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug this into my Arduino just to make sure that what we've plugged in so far is doing what we want it to do. Um, I might change the timings because green time and red time are both set to 15 seconds at the moment. So I might change those to uh, to less just, just to save us waiting around so much. So I'm going to do that now. I'll plug all that in, uh, make sure that works. And then if that works, we can then come back and set up a second traffic light here. OK. OK, well, here's my very simple pin diagram uh, for traffic light number one. The green LED goes to pin two. The amber goes to pin three and the red goes to pin four. That's easy. Right, so let's plug that in. Um, I've already put it, put our little sketch onto the Arduino. So green goes to pin two, which is there. Amber goes to pin three. Red goes to pin four. And ground goes to ground. Ground is there. Right, okay. Um, so what we should get now is when we turn this on, we should get a little startup sequence where the green, amber, and red turn on in turn, and then it gets to a green. Let's get it going. Now green, and now I've, I've done it so that green stays on for eight seconds. So that green light will now be on for eight seconds. It will then go to amber for two seconds and then to red. Okay, stays on red for eight seconds, and then it goes to red and amber for two seconds, and then back to green. Okay, that's easy. Right, well, easy. So what we'll do now then is we will now add in the second light functionality to our little sketch program. Right, okay, well we set up uh, we set up traffic light one fine and we tested it on the Arduino and that works absolutely fine. So now we need to incorporate traffic light two into our code we've just written. Um, we've already set up the pins of traffic light two up here, if you remember rightly, so we don't need to do any of that. So what we need to do is um, is add in traffic light two with it with traffic light one. Um, that shouldn't be too difficult. Right, so let's just go through this in a logical sequence here. When traffic light 1 is green, what's traffic light 2 doing? Traffic light 2 is red. So all we need to do is, let's copy that. Paste that in there. Traffic light 2 green. Well, what's traffic light 2 green doing at the moment? It's off. It's, it's not on. It's low. 
traffic light amber is low and traffic light to red is high. It's on. Right, good. So we've got two lights here. We've got a green light on one and we've got a red light on the other. Fantastic. We then run our little um, delay of green time, which we've set as 15 seconds. Um, and then what happens? Traffic light one, green goes off, the amber light comes on. What's traffic light two doing at this time? Traffic light two is still red. Well, we've already set traffic light two to red, so we don't need to change that. So no, no changes at all. Okay, amber time happens, and then what happens? Amber goes off to traffic light one, and the red light of traffic light one comes on. What's traffic light number two doing now? Traffic light number two is still red because we said we want this little delay where all the signals, uh, all the traffic lights are at red for a short period of time, which is absolutely fine. Um, ah, right, now we've got a problem. The reason being, because we've um, sold our soul to the delay devil, uh, it's payback time. Um, we've now going to have to wait 15 seconds because we said the red time for signal one is 15 seconds, but we want things to start happening to traffic light number two. So we can't have that anymore. So we've got to figure a way around it. Well, it's quite easy, really. Um, what, I, what I said earlier, said I don't actually think we need a red time. The reason being is once we've set a signal, once we've set one of the traffic light signals to red, we can, we can just leave it at red uh, and, and then change it when we need to. In other words, we don't have to time it. Put it on red, leave it at red. Um, so at the moment, we've got... Um, Traffic light number one is at red uh, and we're going to have this short delay and, and traffic light number two is at red and we're going to have this short delay of two seconds while both signals are at red. Well, that's easy. So what we need to do is we've got red time there and I'm just to be just to make this sort of a bit clearer. I'm going to call that all red time. In other words, all the signals are at red and we're going to we're going to set that at two seconds. So I need to go back up to the top now. I need to find our red time definition and I need to change that to all red time and I'm going to set that at two seconds right so time for all red lights to be on okay so that's all red time two seconds so we come back down where we were so what's happening at the moment is the red light one and two are both on and that's going to stay on for two seconds right what happens then what happens then is that red uh, traffic light number two, the amber light's going to come on because it's at red at the moment and we want the red and amber to be to come on at the same time. Uh, what's happening to traffic light number one? Well, that's already red. And as I say, we'll just keep that in red until we need to change it. So digital right traffic light two, amber. So we've now got traffic light two, red and amber both on. And we've, we've said the red and amber delay time was two seconds. So that's now done. What happens next? Uh, what happens next is that traffic light two will go to green. So we need to insert that into uh, which part of that is we're we gonna use. This will do. So we we'll copy that down here. Right, traffic light two green is is on and uh, we've, we've turned that off uh, I think we've already turned off no maybe no, no, I don't think we did actually right so here we go we just sort of make sure that everything's set to as it should be we've got traffic light two as high in other words green is on we want traffic light two amber to be to be off it's gone low and we want traffic light two red to be off so that's good um, we don't need to do anything to traffic light one because we've already set it as 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 off uh, as as red. Sorry, so that can just be red as, as long as we need it to be red. So we just crack crack on. So right, we now have traffic light two green on. And what happens next? Now we need to put our delay in, obviously, and the delay is going to be exactly the same time as we put, did for traffic light number one. So we can just copy that down there. Right, green time is happening. Um, what happens next? What happens next is that traffic light two amber comes on and we're really just copying what we did for traffic light one for traffic light two. So copy that. So traffic light two green goes to low, it goes off. Traffic light two amber comes on uh, and we need our amber time as well. 
there we go. So we, we delay our little amber time sequence. What happens next? What happens next is traffic light two goes red. Traffic light two goes red, um, which is that part there. In fact, we can copy that as well. Copy that. Right, traffic light two amber goes off. Traffic light two red comes on. Now, remember, we set traffic light one red to on. So that's just, just been on while all this is happening. We don't have to time it because it's just been on. Now we get to the point where we need to change that. And what happens now? Both traffic light one and traffic light two are red. Uh, and now it's, it's light number one's time to go green. But before we can do that, it needs to have its little um, red and amber together feature. So we copy that relevant bit of that there. Right, we're going to light traffic light one amber is now on. Uh, red is still on. Yep, so we've got uh, red is still on from up here. Traffic light two is now red and we don't need to do anything to that. Uh, and we've got a little red amber time. What happens next? Right, what, happen ne what happens next is now traffic light one goes to green. Uh, and we've already done all that. That's all up here. Look, traffic light one goes to green. So when that when that gets to that point where traffic light one is red and amber, the, the, the program basically ends and it goes back to the top. Traffic light green comes on, amber goes off. That should be it, I hope, unless I've made any mistakes. So what we'll do is we'll just see if we can verify that, make sure we haven't made any mistakes. No, nope, that's done. Right, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to load that into the Arduino and just make sure that what we've done there is working. OK, great stuff. So there we go. I've plugged in um, traffic signals number one and two um, and they're both running through that sequence we've just done on the Arduino. So, so tra traffic light number two is plugged into pins five, six and seven as per my little, uh, my little pin chart. Uh, and both of them are now running through the sequencing. So both on red for two seconds. Traffic light number one goes from red, red and amber to green, and that will stay on green now for eight seconds. Then it will go to amber, then it go to red. Both reds on for two seconds. Traffic light number two, red and amber, and to green. And then to amber and then to red. So yeah, that all works fine. Um, so what we're gonna do now is, um, just look at our sketch again and just see if we can add any uh, a bit more functionality to it bearing in mind we've got our delay uh, our delay commands which are limiting what we can do but let's have a look anyway uh okay right well i'm just going to give you two scenarios where we may want to change this um and as i say before the delay function does limit to what we can do but it also makes it a lot easier to change things so i'm just thinking of two scenarios uh, the first one is with our existing little project let's say we decided to add a third traffic light so that traffic lights were pointing in both directions of the main road as would be the normal case at the moment we've only got two traffic lights so we want to add a third traffic light um, and i thought i'd just run through how you do that um, and all, it, all we're really going to do is a lot of cut, cutting and pasting here because at the moment we've got uh, traffic light one and traffic light two set up here. So all we really need to do is copy one of those and paste that. Um, and we're going to call this traffic light. We need to give it a unique name. So traffic light three. That is now traffic light three. And obviously we need to give it a unique pin number. So we've got up to six, seven. Uh, oh, hold on. Sorry, I made a mistake there. Should be two. So we've got up to pin seven for traffic light two. Um, and we just carry on where we left off with green for traffic light number three as pin eight, amber as pin nine, and red as pin 10. Um, if you you probably need to watch my previous videos on the uh, the signaling project to get an idea of how many pins there are available on the Arduino because once we get to pin 13 we then start 
to need to use the analog pins but we don't need to worry about that at the moment so let's let's create we've created light three we've told them what pins we're going to use um, the, the, the timings don't need to change at all because uh, traffic light number three is basically going to do exactly the same as what traffic light one does because it's, it's it's pointing along the same bit of road in different directions if you like so none of that needs to change uh, we need to set the pin mode because we've, we've created three new uh, pins as it were so we just need to make sure that they're all set as outputs as well outputs as well and so that's that done and then we we've got the lamp test as well if we want to put that in we can it's not necessary but let's for the sake of completeness make sure that we keep it nice and tidy right i've just edited that bit out because it took me some time just to type all that in but all i've done is i've just created an, an, an extra light three on the, the lamp test so turning the lights on and off so you can pretty much see what i've done where there were two lines there's now three lines so that's what i've done there um, now we get to the loop part and in this instance we've created a third traffic light and all we want it to do is to mimic exactly what traffic light one is doing so all i need to do is find traffic light one and copy it paste it obviously we need to be in the same section as as, as the the, pre, the previous one the traffic light number one because we've got these delays so they all run in the same same delay so done that so every time I see a traffic light one all I need to do is copy that and create a traffic light three so this two 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 that's it so what we've done there is uh, all I've been doing is, is cutting and pasting uh, and basically what I've done is I've added an additional light number three still runs in exactly the same time scale as previously uh, it's just that uh, it just adds a bit of extra functionality to it so that's that uh, and the only other um, function I can think of um, bearing in mind we've got 18 pins on the Arduino uh, it's feasible that if each traffic light takes three pins up three sixes are 18 we could actually have a total of six traffic lights on our layout but for the purpose of this example let's imagine that uh, traffic light one and two stay as they are and we create an additional three and four which are another junction completely separate so we can do that even with a delay function the only thing that limits us is the fact that though both both sets both one and two and three and four will operate at completely the same time so if you happen to be able to see both junctions from your layout at the same time it might look a bit odd because it, they're completely in tandem with each other but hey ho that's that's life so let's just run through that then so let's imagine we're doing that all i need to do is i create a fourth traffic light carry on with my sequencing 11 12 13 now I could I could actually just keep keep this in um, and and not worry about the fact that there's no there's no traffic lights three or four and the reason being is that it'll, the, the program will still run and it will just be turning on, on and off phantom lights as it were so still function perfectly as normal just at three and four if they don't happen to exist on the layout um then they just just won't don't it won't affect the program running so i think what i'll do is when i save this finally and and provide a link in the comment section so you should you can copy this to your own uh, arduino sketch um, then I may just keep this as it is and then you, you've just got that functionality should you ever ever need to use it so we've we've created our additional pins uh, and, and we've given them a definition it's all right um, the timing stays exactly the same unfortunately that's one of the, uh, the, the drawbacks of using a delay that, that the one and two set and the three and four set will have to operate on completely the same timing um, I need to set some pins up Copy that. So traffic light four, four, and four. OK. 
Okay, I'll add these in as well. Okay, so I've, I've just uh, I've just edited that part out um, just to save some time, but I've just done the little lamp test for all four lamps now. And of course, if there are no three or four lamps, it, it won't you won't notice any difference. So we've now created four traffic lights, um, and at the previous one we 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 matched one and three together um, so that one and three operate exactly the same. So if we've got two completely separate junction, one and three can be in different junctions and by same token two and four can be in, in in different junctions as well so all i need to do is mimic traffic light number two for traffic light number four. Four, four, four. so anywhere i see a traffic a traffic light number two i need to duplicate it for traffic light number four Okay, that's, that should be all we need to do. So now I've set up four traffic lights and you can carry on doing that because we've got enough pins to go up to six. So uh, we could we could just copy that and make five and six as well. Bear in mind that when you get to pass pin 13, you then start to need to use the analog pins, which, which I explained on my previous um, signaling um, explanation. Um, so okay, that's, that, that just gives you an idea of how, how easy it is to change this around. Um, if you want to change the timings, all you need to do is change these ones. So I thought that when we was doing our little test run, the all uh, the all red time was just a little bit short. So I'll, I'll probably change that to, um, to four seconds, maybe. Change my green times to 15. And that's it, really. Um, OK, so where do we go from here? Well, uh, let me have a think about that. And I've got a few ideas.